channel so we have a special sort of fall get ready with me video I really like this because I don't normally wear cool tones and this is sort of like a purple smoky light smoky look that you can wear in the daytime if you wanted to or if you're someone that doesn't really like a heavy smoky eye I think this is perfect and it's so simple to recreate so if you guys really like this look stay tuned so I can show you how this was achieved Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Clinique foundation and I have it in sand. It's a little bit dark on my skin tone, but I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender and we'll see how that works out. So I really like this applicator. I prefer this over a bottle because you can kind of just put it on. So I'm just gonna do that now. All right, the next thing I'm gonna grab is the Clinique Airbrush Concealer. I love this thing. I love that it's a twist up and it blends so nicely. So right now, I'm just gonna be adding some of the concealer under my eyes and I'm gonna blend it out with that pointy end of that beauty blender and just to really wake up my eyes and brighten up this look because I am going for a more smoky effect. Before I even apply foundation, I like to let my moisturizer sit for a little bit. So I have been using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel and the Clinique Custom Repair Serum. These are like magic in a bottle. So when I get out of the shower, I go ahead and put these on and sort of let it sink into my face before I go in with the foundation. I didn't get a chance to film it, but I just wanted to tell you about how amazing these are. The first thing I'll do is put on the Clinique Serum and I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's like this really nice, clear, almost like thicker serum and it blends so nicely into the skin. It just feels so smooth and it's really important for me when I moisturize my face is to sort of let the serum and the moisturizer sit on there for a little bit just to let it all sink in, you know? And then I'll go ahead and do my makeup. I've been using it for about a month now and I really like it. It's not oily and the thing is once I put it over it, it doesn't leave any streaks and if you look at my face now, it looks absolutely flawless and doesn't have like a shine. It's more of a glow and my skin doesn't feel oily at all. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually start on my eyeshadow and then I go into contouring highlighting after. I'm going to go in with the Shadow 8 Pan Palette. I really like this palette. I'm going to go in with that nice deep purpley brown shade. And I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush and look at that pigmentation. Girl, it is insane. I was just like, oh my goodness. I forgot how pigmented it was because I haven't used the palette in a little bit. And I was just like, wow, it's amazing. And do you see how well it blends out? I love it because I can just put this as a crease color, blend it out with a fluffy brush, and I already have a really nice eyeshadow look. Now I'm going to go in with this deeper purple shade because I want this to be a very cool tone fall look and I thought it would be really cute to just add a little bit more dimension into my eyes because as you guys know, I don't have a crease because I'm Asian that doesn't have a crease. But yeah, so I'm basically going to go in with a lighter shade now just to sort of blend out to the crease and to highlight my brow bone. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab the light purple shade. I really like this look because it's just a nice casual smoky look and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. This is a very simple look. I'm actually going to go back in now and apply more of that purple shade just to deepen the look and make it a little bit more smoky but still nice and casual. So now I want to show you guys a really quick tip for me to get a nice clean eyeshadow line. I'll apply concealer and this one's really good because it has that pen so you can sort of draw on your concealer and then get a concealer brush so you can get that really clean sharp eyeshadow look which I really like because it just looks so crisp and clean. Alright so the next thing I'm going to go in is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. I really like it because it's a really like sharp tip so you can get those really nice cat eye looks. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so I'm gonna try and look cute doing this, but I'm just gonna do my normal winged liner. I love it because it has a really nice sharp tip so that I can get a really nice winged look. I'm gonna grab the two brown and purpley shades and go ahead and outline the lower lash line of my eye just to pull the look together. So I really like these cute chubby mascaras. They're so adorable and I like them because they have a really big brush. This is in Jumbo Jet, which is like a black, 
And then the next one is the Bodacious Black Honey, which I'm going to put on my lower lashes to sort of let my lashes pop a little bit. So let's go ahead and start putting on the mascara. And I'll try to look cute doing it too. When in reality... So first thing I'm going to do is put, which I've been doing already, I'm going to put the Jumbo Jet Mascara on the lower lashes and then paint it over with the Bodacious Black Honey. So next I'm going to contour and bronze my face. The first thing I'm going to go in with is the Clinique True Bronze in Sun Kissed and it's so beautiful because it has some sort of like gold flecks in it and I think it's really flattering on a lot of skin tones. Now I'm just going to grab my favorite angled brush and give myself sort of a light contour to sort of give some color back into my face and I love this bronzer. I'm going to put on some lashes really quick just to add a little bit more of a dramatic look and then we're going to put on blush. So I'm going to put on one of my favorite blushes from Clinique and it's their Cheek Pop and they're so adorable because they have this really cute like flower imprint but it's not on the top. I've already used this several times and it's sort of like imprinted in there and I just love this color. Pigmentation's adorable and I really like this one and this one is in Fig Pop and I think it's perfect for this look. I'm just going to go in with a light hand and sort of put it right on my cheeks without making it too heavy because my eyeshadow is heavy. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker shade, but not too crazy because I don't want it to overpower the eyeshadow. This is the Chubby Stick Intense Moisturizing Lip Color Balm, and let me show you a swatch. That was one swipe, and it's so pigmented and really moisturizing. Pretty much it for this look. Let's take my hair down, sort of fix it. So that's pretty much it, and this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you really liked it. I used all Clinique products. I love their products, and I know you guys would too. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my fall get ready with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I have been watching you guys on Snapchat, and let me tell you, you guys are freaking amazing. That's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for those of you that are following me on Snapchat, for those of you that are following me on YouTube. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and basically follow me on Instagram and Snapchat so we can be buddies, even more buddies than we are now. And yeah, go ahead and leave comments down below if you would like to see anything specific and I'll see you guys in my next one. I love you. Mwah.